what's up everybody anime and beer here uh, as you can see uh, black belt and beer is in here because uh, this isn't the normal podcast this is a halls video uh, me and my wife just came back from Columbia and Fayetteville because uh, there's two stores uh, some of you may know called second and Charles uh, I guess you could call it a overstock store. Uh, it's in, it's like a little sister to, uh, was it Books a Million? Yeah, Books a Million. Uh, so this video is going to be something new. Uh, pretty much just showing you guys what I got, talking about it, why I got it. Um, usually when we go, we pick up movies, comics, uh, kind of like collectible stuff. So I'm just going to show some of that off. See if this uh, video is something I'm going to keep doing every time I do a. Uh, do a trip somewhere, pick up some things, and, you know, just show it off. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, some of the stuff that we got is, boom, this Bakugo pillow. Sweet. Love this thing. As some of you guys know, I talk about my wife a lot, uh, and she is a big supporter of me being a nerd. So... A lot of things like that that you see, she actually pointed out and I picked up. Um, but, uh, get going. She actually found this as well. Got a huge glare going on here. As you can see, Baby Yoda patches. Because I have a black jean jacket that I put patches on, which you'll probably see later down the line because it's getting chilly outside. But, uh, yeah. Put this on my jacket. Plan is get my jean jacket all swagged out with patches. Uh, uh. Oh man. Uh, trying to see if I should start with the comic books or the movies. Probably gonna go with the movies in with the comic books. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of them. We got like maybe 37, 40 DVDs. Crazy. Uh, but first is uh down to earth if you have not seen this movie you should one of Chris Rock's like underrated movies amazing random disc don't know why that's in there um, three of these movies we didn't get but well no four yeah four four of these movies we didn't get from second and Charles we got from some family of hers so I'm still gonna count it as a haul uh, Batman Returns, Michael Keaton with the Penguin, Black Cat, one of my favorite Batmans, Mask of Zorro, Antonio Banderas, awesome actor, never seen Mask of Zorro, but I'm pretty sure my wife is going to put me on it, Avengers Age of Ultron, uh, I'm not going to say it's one of the best Avengers, but Yo, let us know if we should do an Avengers episode. Just we just break down the Avengers movies and see which one's the best and well not really the Avengers movies, but you know, just the timeline. I think that'd be cool. But I have my favorite scenes from this movie, but uh not really my favorite. We do get vision though. X Men Days of Futures Past. Do not get me started on this movie. <sighs> This movie is like, I I can't even explain it. I, I just, I hate the way they did my boy Colossus. They did him dirty. That's all I'm going to say. Uncle Drew. We actually watched this last night. Great movie. Awesome movie. My wife doesn't even like basketball movies, so the fact that she actually sat and watched this and enjoyed it. I think it's more so because Rail was in it. Awesome comedian. But, uh. Awesome. Fat Girls. Uh, again, one of Monique's underrated movies. She did really good in that. Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. Oh, sorry. Turn that down. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. It's funny, but it's really not not really one of my favorite Mark Lawrence movies. It's, it's one of those if my wife was like, hey, let's watch this. I'd be like, yeah, but it's not something I would pick out. 
Shun of the Dead. This movie is just pure awesomeness. Also a very underrated movie. Again, guys, like I said, we got like 37, 40 movies, so I'm trying to speed it along here. So, We're the Millers. I personally have not seen this movie, but I've been given funny looks for not having seen it. So, probably check this out tonight. Swordfish. It's one of these movies my wife picked up because of the... uh of the storyline she says something that I would be into so we'll see this right here is the, the I, I want to say the meat and, and potatoes of this haul not the whole haul but just of the DVDs because in Walmart this movie is still 20 to 25 dollars in Walmart or wherever else you go but from second to Charles I got it for six and that is the complete collection series of the legend of Korra I have not seen the legend of Korra uh, I have seen Avatar the last time Benger loved it uh, I hear mixed reviews about this but I would probably say it's like 80 20 80 percent positive 20 percent bad and the 20 percent is just personal opinion but this right here the fact that I got it for where is it focus focus not gonna focus, but six ninety five. Yeah, some moves I'm not gonna show because they're yeah, eh, play. Not really play, but yeah. Uh, this is something my wife picked up in her shoes. I would probably solely watch this because of Cameron Diaz. Honestly, it looks like a chick flick, but Cameron Diaz is in it, so I'll watch it. Classic, classic, classic. Uncle Buck. Classic. If you see this movie and you not have it in your collection, pick it up. You will not be disappointed. To watch. Uh, not underrated, not overrated. It's just one of those. Everybody should know this movie. If you don't, uh, unless you can get it cheap, that's the only way I'll say pick it up. But, it's funny. Another classic. How high. If you do not have this in your collection, you need to have it. Unless you're one of those people who uh, just don't like raunchy films. But this right here, you will laugh from beginning to end. Capone, I have not seen this. Capone, I've seen... Scarface, I've seen a little bit of Carlito's Way, Casino, and and Goodfellas' all-time favorite movie. I have Gotti on DVD. I've seen it, loved it. Uh, 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 geez, I forgot his name. <laughs> the guy that played John Gotti, uh, John Travolta did an amazing job. Now Al Capone, Capone. This is Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, as you know, Venom, amazing actor. Uh, he was also in. Inception. I can't wait to check this out. Matter of fact, I'm putting this to the side because I'm watching this probably when I finish this video. Hood Rat. Um, not really one of those well-known movies. Isaiah Washington, Ice T. It's about a guy that becomes friends with rats and he sends them to kill people. That do him dirty. Or people that he knows dirty. It's one of the movies you just have to watch to get it. This right here threw me for a loop. Gang of Roses. Next Generation. Now we all know. Well not we all know. But there was a movie called Gang of Roses. With Lisa Ray McCoy. Little Kim. Some other people. That's just how old the movie is. It's like 2000. Early 2000s. But I did not know they made a sequel. So I am very, very eager to check this out. I hope it's not bad. Eddie Griffin. Anything Eddie Griffin is automatically good. You're not going to tell me you've watched an Eddie, Gr Eddie Griffin movie that you did not like. Dysfunctional Family. It's, it, it speaks for itself. I was trying to find Voodoo Child. Couldn't find it. Nah. What can you do? 
Uh, let's see what else we got. Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come is another movie that, if it's not in your collection, it should be. It, 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 it's it's very funny, heartwarming, just in an all out all out just wonderful cast. Remember what I said before about Eddie Griffin? Anything this man is in is good. Automatically. Undercover Brother. If you haven't seen it, you must watch it. Uh, gonna throw some of you guys for a loop, but Push. Push is... It, it's a okay movie. Um, I like the concept of the, the whole powers that everybody had. Which is why I picked it up. Uh, you know, you got people who can push, see into the future, control minds, uh, erasers, I think that's what they were called, erasers and stuff like that, awesome, <sighs> awesome to me, might not be awesome to you, alright, A Raisin in the Sun, um, this version, I wasn't particularly looking for this version, I like the older one, um, I'm trying to think, was it? No, I don't think it was a play. Not the play, but the one that was kind of in movie form, like this one. But A Risen the Sun, good movie, awesome cast. Definitely should check it out. Either you watch the play, the original movie, or this one. All, all of them are pretty much the same, but just different casts and different styles of acting. But again, guys, just taking a little break here. Uh, Adam and Beer, check out our podcast. Uh, we're up to eight episodes, so please check us out. Support us. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Criticize. 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 That's all we you know. We love it. Criticize us. Put us in the comments what we could do better, what we can change, what you want to see. Just let us know. Um, Things to Empire, Rise of the Mob. Um, again. If you know me, everybody knows, well not everybody, but I'm into gangster movies, mob, godfather, things like that, gang stuff. Uh, not, well, I say gang stuff very loosely. Particularly mob and mafia and, and Don's, all that type of stuff. Uh, it, it just fascinates me. I love it. That's why Casino and Goodfellas are like my all-time favorite movies. <laughs> uh... Monsters Ball. I, 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 I can't speak for everybody, but I, I'm just going to jump the gun and say that I don't think I've met anybody who has not seen Monsters Ball. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> Good movie, though. Great, great movie, but if you see the movie, you know why I'm laughing about it. Just, let's move on. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Classic. Another classic. Freddy versus Jason. Um, again, I, I, I haven't met, and I probably have never met anybody that has not seen this movie. This movie is pure awesome. I wish we can get more like this. Um, again, this could be another episode, you know, just different movies where mass murderers just go up against each other. Like, I would like to see Jason versus Michael Myers. That would be dope. Which I think they already did a video to that, which was pretty awesome. I don't remember the ending, but to, I do remember like the quality and just the, the story and just everything about it was, was pure. It was a genius. So if you know what video I'm talking about, um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. They did very well. Last Action Hero. Again, one of those movies, if you've seen it, you know, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, good movie. It, it's just one of those movies I saw as a child and I just fell in love with it after that. So anytime I've seen it like on TV, I had to watch it. So the fact that I came across it in Second and Charles, awesome. And again, for those who don't know, Second and Charles, to me, I would describe it as an overstock store, uh. It's kind of like things that Books Amelia couldn't get rid of, so they set up a sister store to send things so that they can sell it, so it doesn't crowd their store. And I can honestly say, uh, 
you go there, you will find hidden gems. You will find things that you didn't even knew existed as far as anime, pop culture, and things like that. I've gotten anime shirts from there, and I've gotten compliments on them. Like, dude, where'd you get that? Like, you can't even find that anywhere. Like, you probably can, but you probably took too long to, to, to buy it. Ah, oh, man. Classic. 13 Ghosts. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. I have not met anybody who has not seen this movie. This movie is pure genius. They need to make... Everybody said it. They need to make miniseries on each ghost. They, I'm telling you. Profit. Profits. You, you will make profit. Um, Woman, Thou Art Loosed. Uh, this is a really good movie. Really, really good movie. Uh, the movie speaks volumes. Uh, who's the lady that plays? Kimberly Elise. I was about to say Carrie Washington. Um, <laughs> Kimberly Elise. Uh, uh, oh, man. What's the other lady? Loretta Devine. And the other lady that plays... Every, no, not her. Never mind. Scratch that. So, <laughs> Kimberly Elise, Loretta Devine. Just two of the all-star cast in this. If you've seen it, you know it's a good movie. Another classic right here. Life. Again. I, I have not met anybody who's... You're going to hear me say that a lot. Probably for like... The next... The, probably like the next set of movies. Uh, everybody's seen this. I, I'm just going to jump the gun. Everybody's seen Life. It's probably one of the most quoted movies. In... in it just one of those movies that's just well quoted and just you just get you'll just get laughs off of it from the time you put it in to the time you have to take it out and days after that uh was it mama flores family any fans of cicely tyson or uh uh, uh oh jeez i'm just drawing blanks with names queen latifa Blair Underwood, Mario Van Peebles. I feel like I should know who that is, the Peebles guy, but I don't. But All Star Cast, awesome movie. Uh, one of those movies you really have to sit down and just really watch it and focus on it. Uh, teaches family values. Just you know, makes you look at yourself as a person. That's how. That's why I got from it. <laughs> uh crossover um definitely not one of the greatest basketball movies uh honestly it's not even a good basketball movie i like it there's something about the movie that i like but it's not good if, if you like it you like it if you don't understandable but of course uh if you can't tell anthony mackie this guy's a basketball player but his real name's clarence Oh man, that'll never get old. All right, Jumper. It's kind of like the movie I showed you before, Push. Uh, kind of like the thesis of this movie is: if 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 he can see where he's going, he can teleport there. Uh, it's not really a complicated movie, but it's. I don't know. I just liked it when I watched it. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, we don't have too much more to go, guys. Uh, fifth element. If you do not have this, have this in your collection, I don't know what you're doing with yourself when you go and 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 thrift and movie shop. If this is not, if the fifth element is not in your collection, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mafia. This movie is hilarious. I love this movie. It's so funny and just and just gut wrenching. Like the the things that are said and done in this movie in regards to the mafia is just flat out hilarious. I feel like if you sat a godfather down, like a legit godfather, like like Al Capone or John Gotti, like actually sat them down if if they were here today and made them watch this movie, they would laugh. I feel like they would. Duplex, um, 
one of those movies I just liked. I, I don't know what I liked about it. It had its funny moments. It was kind of cheeky, kind of corny, but it was a good movie. Would I recommend it? Yeah, if you're Ben Stiller, Drew Barrymore, why not? I'm just going to go ahead and show these two together since they're kind of related. Uh, Home Alone 1 and 2. Again, not have met anybody who has not seen these movies, so there's really not much to say about them. Uh, Will Ferrell, The Campaign. I've seen bits and pieces of these, of this movie. And what I've seen has made me laugh, so I'm, I'm really... Really looking forward to seeing the sitting down, seeing the whole thing. And that people are the movies. Uh, like I said, a bunch of movies. We got a ton of movies. Uh, now, on to my favorite part. We're gonna go over my comic book call. Uh, me and comic books, uh, just give you a rundown. I'm reading the Mighty Morphin series, the Go Go Power Rangers series, and I am collecting to eventually read Blackest Night, Brightest Day. Uh, so that's really what I've been on the hunt for lately. Um, at my local comic book shop, I did put, uh, is it Berserker? Bizarre Berserker? I can't remember the name of it, but the Keanu Reeves new comic, uh, I do have that for, uh, on my pull list so hopefully when it comes out I'll be able to get a copy and read it and actually start reviewing comics uh, the only reason I have it is because when I did hit me up I'm already into in the middle of like certain manga certain comic books so it's kinda like I don't wanna start reviewing in the middle of like a manga you know a hundred chapters I'm on chapter 20 and then I start reviewing it and you're lost and you're like so anyway but I digress uh, so some comic books I picked up. Draken, New Dawn. This is the second one. We had the first one. This is uh, pretty much all about Kimberly, Ranger Slayer, becoming the new leader, becoming the new Draken. And uh, so far, just reading the first story, um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Like, you just see things in a whole new light. Um, I'm saying it now. Anything Power Rangers, when it comes to the comic books... Me personally, my opinion, my my opinion, anything dealing with Power Rangers and comic books is canon to me. I don't care what anybody says. The the writer could have already said it's not canon to me. It's canon because the story is just so real written, and it feels to and to me it feels plot holes. So to me, these are canon. I don't care. Um. Just trying to see what I got here. Because uh, that was the only Power Ranger comic I picked up. And then I'm going to show you one more. And then the rest of it is Brightest Day, Blackest Night. I uh, also collect the uh, Flashpoint series. Um, I would have had a lot more to show you. But, you know, vacationing on a budget. Uh, but I was able to get the uh, Emperor Aquaman. I think the reason I picked this up... Was it this one or was it another one? I know there was like a six dollar one, and I'm like, eh. So I think I put that one back, but I can't remember. Um, but let's go. Blackest night, brightest day. These aren't in order, so when you see them, it's not going to be in a particular order. But uh, blackest night saga. I'm so happy I was able to pick this up because. Both the Brightest Night and the Blackest Day start comics start off with Blackest Night, Brightest Day. No, no subtitle. Uh, those are expensive and hard to come by. Which one of them I'm really excited about, and I'm going to point out why when I get to it. But this one is zero through eight. Blackest Night is zero through eight. Brightest Day is zero through twenty-four. Uh, what makes these hard to come by is well, not the the books. But what makes the individual uh, comics hard to come by is the fact that they're so sought after, it's hard to find the non-variant copies. And when you do find one, it's always the variant copies, and the variant copies are like $25 and up. Some of them as low as 10 
but it's like you know you go to a comic book store you're trying to get as much as you can for the lowest amount you can literally all these besides this one and maybe three others were a dollar and the rest of these were like maybe two dollars but uh so glad i got my hands on this so now i don't have to track down the one through eight which will probably be expensive for me to find the blackest night adventure comic um again i haven't read these yet so i'm just showing you what i have just in case you know you like oh man i read that one or oh man you know that's a rare one you might want to look into getting that one graded you know just help me out here um some of these the numbers are right but some of these comics don't follow the normal and i'm going to show you right here don't follow the normal visuals you know you got blackest night adventure comic number seven but behind it it's like 510 or something like that but there's the brightest day series where the numbers right it's adventure comics but it doesn't say brightest day at the top so i might have to research it more and i hope i don't run into bad news doing that but i'm kind of iffy on this is the actual brightest day version or if this is just a regular version but as you see that the titles are the same the numbers are the same but the only thing different is this is supposed to be the brightest day version but it doesn't say brightest day at the top birds of prey birds of prey and if i say the same subtitle twice it's because that is a different issue but uh Doom Patrol, Aquaman vs. Aqualad, Starman, and what I plan on doing with these comics is I'm going to read them, you know I have the reading list and everything already set and set up for it, but what I plan to do is uh, as I read these, I'm actually going to turn around and branch off, so Starman number 81, hey I'm going to go back and just start collecting Starman 1 through 80 and then continue on because obviously this was good enough i love green lantern and if you don't know brightest night black is blackest night brightest day is a green lantern uh series so a lot of it has to do with green lantern type things because as you can see here at the bottom that's black hand but uh if it feels good enough for green lantern and whole green lantern core to you know make an appearance in it has to be a good uh because i don't even know who starman is I'm not even gonna lie to you. Again, and this is exactly, this is what I was telling you about. Uh, the Brightest Day series don't doesn't have like a subtitle, so this is how you know it's uh just one of the 24. This is number eight, but there's 24 of these. Uh, it tells you who's in it and who it's about, but as far as like a subtitle, there isn't one. It's just Brightest Day. Oh, see, perfect example. No subtitle anywhere. But you know it's, a, it's about Swamp Thing, though. But this is number 24, so I have the last one of this. But I think I'm missing, like, maybe three or four of the Brightest Day series. Uh, Aquaman. The item. Ah, item. <laughs> the Atom. This one right here was kind of hard to find. I thought I would never find it, but Second and Charles came through. For my comic book people, if you're a hardcore comic book collector, you know this tip already, or this suggestion, but uh, if you're getting into it, and you go to your comic book shop, and you know you're looking on the table, you're looking on the table, but you notice that those boxes are also under the table, take the time to look through them, because literally half of what I found came from those boxes that they hide under the table that are unsorted. Just take the time to look through it. Trust me. Uh, again, another adventure comics. The numbers right, the 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 title and the font is right, but it does not say brightest day. So I'm gonna have to go research to make sure that this is the actual right brightest day of you know that goes into the series. Ah, uh, just gonna go ahead and show this. Again, another one. I'm gonna have to research these to make sure they're part of the brightest day Superman stuff. This one right here. 
Generation loss number one sucks because it has some like wear up here. But I really don't care about that because I really don't plan to sell these. Uh, I see the only way these getting sold is if, God forbid, something happens to me and my kids are like, uh, I'm not in the comics. So I don't want these crowd in my house, but I'm already long gone, so I don't care. Uh, but this one right here was very hard to find. None of my locals had it. My main local had it, but he only had the variant, and it was like, I think it was like 25 or 30 bucks. And I'm like, eh. Some Justice League. Some more Justice League. Some Outsiders. And again, back to what I said about Starman. Like, I've never heard of the Outsiders. So, once I collect all these and, you know, really get to reading them, I'm going to go back and this is, what, 24, 24, 25. I'm going to go back and get 1 through 23 and see what they're about. Again, Rebels. A team I've never heard of. So, once I get these in order, I'm definitely going to go back and start collecting the Rebels. Once again, Secret Six, same thing. I know who Booster Gold is, but I don't know much about him. So, once again, I'm going to go back. What? This is 27. I think I also have 26, but I don't know. Go back and collect the, the earlier copies. Rebels. Um, I already have this one, but found out that this is actually a variant because the one that I have is green and this one's purple. So I'm actually going to have to look this one up to see what the price difference is. Green Lantern. Green Arrow. Green Arrow. These are actually easy to find. I think there's like maybe 12 of these. I want to say. Or 14 or something like that. Uh, easy to find. But not expensive. Not overly expensive, but you know, at two dollars a piece, it'll add up quick. Especially when you get that, and then you see other comics that you want. Uh, yep, this is twenty-six. Booster Gold, and the last one is some Green Lantern Court. Uh, so yeah, my Blackest Night, Brightest Day collection. Uh, I'm almost done with it. Uh, going to Second and Charles has really helped with progression let's see do i have a paper over here just so yeah, that's way over there now um but yeah me and my wife were big movie buffs uh i'm big into anime she supports it i'm big into comics she supports it just long story short get, get find you somebody who supports what you do you know it's funny because funny story while i was in second and charles uh there was a guy next to me and he was looking through comics and i guess his girlfriend called on FaceTime and he was showing her what she was doing and she was like what you're there again but what I respected from her was she didn't jinx him for it you know she didn't pick on him she was like ah oh, you're such a nerd which is nothing wrong with me calling her I mean she did you know when my wife calls me a nerd I kind of like it but you know she, she she didn't come off as oh man you're there again it wasn't that type of attitude it was like you're there again like you just left from there like you found you like went back for some stuff you didn't find before and pretty much that's what it was uh but she respected it so uh i'm not even here to give you guys relationship advice uh but overall uh if you've heard of the store second and charles and you go on a regular lucky you because i'm from the myrtle beach area so my closest one is columbia or fayetteville but if you haven't gone there and you're big in the comics mangas books pop culture anime collectibles that also they also buy sell do buying selling and trading so there's books over there that i don't even want that i could have taken with me and they would have gave me like store credit for or cash for them. uh but i decided to do it at the last minute so i didn't really bother but uh awesome store awesome all second and charles please open up a myrtle beach store um, please but uh that's my haul. You guys let me know if that's something you would like to see on the regular. Um, I know I do. 
My, some of my favorite YouTubers, when they do box openings or stuff like that, or show off things they've gotten, I tune in. I love it. I'm not saying you should watch it because I like to watch it, but, uh, but yeah, guys, let me know. Uh, give us some more ideas on things you'd like to see from us. Uh, once again, shout out to everybody in the anime and beer chat. Shout out to my wife. Shout out to people who are who are not in the anime and beer chat but know about it. Uh, we consider you guys honorary members. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Surprise, <laughs> subscribe, and criticize, criticize, criticize. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Peace.